all masters of editing in five or six minutes using Premiere Pro in the last tutorial. I'm going to show you how to export your final video. You need to do this. A lot of people think that because once you have everything edited, you just take that project <coughs> file and you move it over. Not the case. We need to export this video. We need to export it into the right place, and then we need to move it over to uh, wherever we're going to put it, on a USB, on a, on a SD card, or onto Google Drive or YouTube. So once you have the project all done, you're going to go to File, Export, Media. That's just saying that I'm missing something, but that's okay. Here, you're going to first click through here and make sure that you have the entire video here. Sometimes it gets stuck and will only give you a certain portion. I like to do entire sequence. Make sure that it goes, see, 3 minutes 44 seconds. That's the same as over here. So, once you can see that you can scrub through, make sure you have the entire video. You're going to go to Format, H.264. You can match the source, that's fine. We used to do YouTube, but this is fine. And the last thing you want to do is click the output name and find your finished videos folder. This is where people screw up because if they don't click the output name, it's going to save to the last place it was saved. So here in events, we go to our journalism project in finish videos and we can name this 2018-02-01 journalism project my name and what I like to do is just V001 if you have multiple renditions if you miss something it's a rough cut I, I do V001 V002 so on and so forth I hit save and then I hit export it's gonna take a while if you have a long video especially you get that 15 30 minute video it's gonna take a while so this three minute video is gonna take six minutes and that probably is going to take even more than that. So when you finish it's going to be into that finished videos folder. You can see that it's cooking right here. Now the last thing that you want to do is once you're done with that I like to go to my drive and then from my drive I'll take that that video and I'll drag it into my drive. So I have that I can show that uh, on any sort of device on my mobile, on if I can connect to a teacher's computer, and then you don't have to use any USB or anything like that. So that is, I'm going to show you that one more time. File, export, media, and scrub through here. Figure, make sure that it's the entire movie. H.264, high match source, high bitrate. Click the name and save it to your finished videos folder.